So what we've done for our project is build a hydraulic arm that emulates an elephant trunk uh, with the extension and the retraction and picking up and putting down. Um, it's got multiple components to it. Um, as far as our parts, what we use to start with, a majority of the, the parts were cardboard um, with the base, the controller, um, and a majority of the arm. We used a needle nose pliers to crimp and, and do things with that. We used a, a, a battery drill to drill the holes in the cardboard um, and in the, in the popsicle sticks that we used. We also used an X-Acto razor knife um, to cut most of the cardboard. We used large shish kebab sticks um, to put the to connect all the pieces. Uh, crazy super glue just to help glue everything down along with hot glue. We also used uh, zip small zip ties to connect things like the, the, the syringe to the cardboard in different places. Um, the small tubing we used for the for the piping to run the fluid through. Uh, paper clips to counterweight the the whole crane itself and to connect the the claw to the syringe. It's got a one AAA battery which allows the, the arm to rotate around. We used a 10 millimeter medicine syringe um, as our, hydro, our hydraulics. And then we also used popsicle, large popsicle sticks uh, in multiple places. So what we're gonna do is go through and kind of run down what it looks like and how it operates. Um, so this is the main part of the, the crane itself. Um, it's got multiple components. It's got a long arm here, here, and, and then the base there. It's got hydraulic pieces with the, the syringes on the top there there and on the bottom here as well as on the back um, the control board is operated by four separate uh, syringes the closest of which operates the nose of the crane which simulates the nose of the elephant um, it goes back and forth this way the next the next lever in does the base of the trunk which is just up and down of the whole trunk the third one in is the end trunk, which is this one, which controls the tilt, which is the up and down motion. And then the final lever does the turn, which simulates the head turn of the elephant itself, which rotates it left and right. So what we're gonna do is demonstrate by picking up a Chick-fil-A cup. I'm gonna close the claw. Pick up with the end. We'll spin it this direction. Also, spin it back the other direction. We'll set it down. And let it go. So each of, each, each syringe is connected to the other um, by our small piping that we used. Um, we use the, the zip ties to connect the 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 two the syringes to the to the sticks itself um we've used popsicle sticks in multiple places with the claw here as well as with our lever board um to control the flow of the fluid inside there uh, and then cardboard like we said was the majority of it with being the base all of the arm the base itself of the crane and all of the base of the control board.